currently in the white third gen we call Casper. And I see a Mustang up ahead here. I don't know if it's a Mustang that has any power or not. But I thought maybe this could be an opportunity once we get up around this corner we have a straight shot to troll somebody. And I would hate to troll this guy and it not be something cool. It looks like it's somebody from out of town because it's not a local plate. It says it's a GT. What model of GT? Okay, it says 5.0. Let's see, it could just be an old couple. I see a lot of old people in nice cars. <laughs> it's an old guy. I never want to race old guys and like old ladies like I just feel like they're just trying to mind their own business I mean you never know you could find that old guy or gal that's like no I drive this car because I get rowdy or they could just be like no I drive this car just because I like having a nice vehicle but I'm not really any fun on the road you know what I'm saying there's just there's different types of people so we got the third gen over here and we were going to try filming something with Nasty Red today. However, it's just something that I don't necessarily want to tackle in this shop over here when I don't have help with a couple of things. My dad's going to be needing to use the truck in two days, and I would hate for some reason the truck not to want to start. And then it's over here in a shop until I can get back over here to it. And then he can't use the gooseneck to move all the hay that they're supposed to be bailing this weekend. Um, I was going to do a fuel pressure gauge, but... When you do that, you then have to crack the lines, I mean, on the injectors to get fuel, get the air out of the fuel lines, that is, to get it firing back up. And it's just sometimes hard with, you know, the compounds on it. It's hard to reach as it is, let alone then I can't see which lines are spraying and which ones aren't as I get in and out, cranking it over. So kind of a pain. I did bring tools to try to do it. And I'm like, man, I just, I know how frustrating it can get when you don't have somebody to just say, hey, this is what's going on with the fuel lines and these ones are working, these ones are spraying, these ones aren't, whatever. It can just be a struggle. So I'd almost would rather do that when my dad's over here. That way it can go a lot smoother. And maybe after he uses the truck, that way that process is not slowed down. We do have the tractor here. I just filled it up with some diesel. And I think what we should do is do some bush hogging around here. Now, he did just mow the lawn out here. However, there is always still more bush hogging to do. He said that he still needs to do around the pond. He still needs to do around some of the fields. A couple of the food plots haven't been uh, mowed down in quite some time as well. So I figured let's do that while we're here. I was going to do some videos of trying to troll people. So that sucked. I'm going to try to film that video though. Later this evening, I'm going to try to film the third gen video of trolling some people before tuning. At least people getting off work. Generally, there's a lot more opportunity on the road at that time of the day so i might have to do that later on but i have not done a video like this in quite some time of just getting some farm work done some farm maintenance work that would be which is like brush hogging down crap that's just getting overgrown around the tree lines fence rows trails that we have to use to get to places and stuff like that so i thought what the heck let's put the gopro on the tractor and get to doing some bush hogging let's get on the tractor and get to bush hogging some stuff down came through all right i wasn't sure how the gopro was 
handling the tractor vibration and bumps and everything else. There was a couple times I almost lost the GoPro. There were some oh crap moments when it like fell off and I just happened to notice it and stopped the tractor quick enough to grab it before I completely mulched my camera. But that's what we did for the last few hours. Now onto the next segment. pretty close to home. I don't want to follow me to the house. He's driving around the smoke. <laughs> to look at a Ram because they currently don't have any Ford inventory because of the chip shortage. But they've got a truck there that we want to look at. We're not like looking at a truck today because we're gonna be like buying one right now. Just a quick disclaimer for anybody watching the video that's like, oh, you know, like if you're looking at this truck, why don't you buy it? Like, why aren't you buying it? Like, we're not buying the truck right now. Probably aren't gonna be buying this exact truck. But Reagan has on her vision board that, you know, once we, cause we want to pay cash for everything that we buy, right? So ordinarily, like you could just go to the bank and say, hey, you know, I've got great credit. You know, I've got plenty of income. I want a loan for this and we could just get the loan. I mean, it's not hard to get loans. The bank's given to anybody that's reliable or even hardly reliable. They'll still give them loans because they're hoping that they can make money on your payments. We decided that we want to pay cash for our dream property and our dream house, pay cash for it so it's not a burden. And when it's a dream house, it's actually a dream come true when we pay cash for it and we're not like buying it. And then we're like, oh great, now we got these massive payments. All that aside though, once we accomplish that goal, which we're hoping really isn't too terribly far from now, hoping that we can buy her a Longhorn and I'm gonna go around this way. You can see my dad's car there that he traded in. That is still sitting there. They gave him like 34 or something for it, I think. I wanna say it was really close to 34. That's sitting there, they listed it for 40. Our Cadillac's gone. Really? So that must have Or they traded sold. it or something. Either, it, it either Sometimes sold. they do that. They either sold or they moved it. They yeah. kind of just moved it. I, I know they have idea. several locations, they said. Nope, it is gone. I was that's saying, a that's, different vehicle. Yeah, that's not a Cadillac. No, that's a... Uh... Careful, you're really close to that truck. Well, you look like you're really close to that. I'm like four feet from that truck. I thought this was a gasser. No. Or maybe no. I just didn't look at that one. No, I wouldn't come it looks look. looks like it has a little thing I in the back. I wouldn't come look at it. 
We don't do the Hemi's. I have no disrespect for gas pickup trucks. And yeah. like in the real world, I think people do some really cool stuff with them and you can build them just like you can build anything else. It's just not our preference. So it's right. just kind of like a joking thing because this is a diesel channel. You know what I mean? So this is actually a 2015 Longhorn, 80,000 miles. If you guys actually go and check it out, it's actually on O'Daniel Ford's lot. They're closed right now, but whatever. And what do you think about the color of this? So I know that yours on your picture was like black, more like charcoal. Black with like and a gold. Champagne two-tone it was like this i think what the running boards would have to go this is like my favorite interior they did like several years where you actually got like the crazy engraving on the seats and stuff like if you tilt it down you might be able to see the driver's seat and the stitching that's like my favorite thing that they did with these tracks even got the Longhorn specialty rims. Yeah, the specialty wheels. But it's not bad though. There's not like any like holes or anything. What is it towing though? It looks like a moose. Yeah, it's a tow boat. Yeah. But it does actually have a gooseneck with in-bed wiring and it's got a rear tow package obviously. It's already got a cover too. See this? Oh, that is sweet. That's one of those really nice Yeah, ones it's not the like, fold ones. It's the ones that like retract, I think. Yeah, it's a retracts. Like, that's cool. That's really cool. I think the worst damage on it is like these little scratches on the bumper. Probably. That's about the worst of it that I can see. Miguel can fix it in a day. I don't know if it's deleted or not, but there's a lot of soot on the tailpipe. Good sign. You can see they like sprayed the frame to get the Probably. surface rust to disappear. I feel like if it were me, like why didn't you just go ahead? Like if you already colored this, why didn't it you just delete it? No, like why didn't you go ahead and just color that? You know what I mean? Like yeah. if you already painted this, you might as well have just done the whole well, animal. That was just from factory. But, they left the chrome. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. It's supposed to be like yeah, nice. Yeah. At least they used to think that. This is deleted though. It's yeah. It's straight pipe underneath. Probably sounds good. It probably sounds. He probably got rid of it for the same reason. He's like, I can make the most money out of yeah, it. They, right now. Probably. He, I'm gonna guess he got quite a bit. But it's pretty sweet. Yeah. But yeah, this is pretty pretty close to her green setup. It's a, it was black. How important is the dueling to you? It's not super important, just enough to pull a couple horses <laughs> and well, a camper. Then this, this would be fine. <clears throat> like a gooseneck with like a camper and like a three horse slant, you know? Yeah. For one horse, it seems overkill, but. Oh, now you're looking at this one. This one's probably nicer. Nah, it'd probably break down on me. Probably not. I like the reflection though. <laughs> Yeah, this one's definitely nicer. For oh, sure. Crap. Yeah, I'm in love with the Ford. What do you guys think? The Ford with a Ram. Yeah. I don't know. Too much chrome. That's what I think. Too much chrome. Chrome don't get you home. Chrome does get you home. You used to make fun of me all the time with my big chrome bumper. You were like, you need to get rid of the ugly thing. And then I get rid of it. <laughs> And I have an even chrome. uglier bumper. I hate chrome. That's why we color match this freaking thing entirely. I hate chrome. Anyways, now that we're done screwing around, that's going to be the end to this segment of driving around with Malachi and Reagan. And not knowing what the heck you're doing. No idea what we're doing. Sometimes they forget what gear I'm in. Anyways. That's gonna put a wrap on this video, but if you'd like to enter to win this truck that completely destroys Duramaxes plus $5,000 cash, head on over to lpgear.com, place an order, and you can be taking over this truck plus $5,000 cash. The giveaway ends on August 16th though, so it's not gonna be around forever. The last couple weeks, and he's gone. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one, peace.